Hey, what is up, fellow Raiders? This is Vulcan Dan. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you and your family. And I hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this New Year. And speaking of the New Year, I just want to talk about five things that I want Plarium to do for Raid in 2022. All right, so these are the five things that I wish that we would have in the game that would make it a lot better. Now, before we start with that, I am this close to 700 subs and I need your help to get there. So if you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and help me get to that 700 subs. All right. So we also have this New Year gift chain that just uh, that was just released just now. And we have, of course, a few rewards right here. We have four star chicken. We have a few energy refills. And at the seventh day, we have a legendary book right there. So don't forget to get those every si single day for seven days. All right. So five things that i want plarium to do for raid in 2022 is number one number one is better daily login reward champion so of course we've had cleopteryx uh now we've had uh we have cyan right here now again uh in a previous video i have mentioned that these free login reward champions they have to be usable for players that are already at that time in the game so if you get Cle cleopteryx that's around one year uh, which is you know some somewhat of a decent champion not a lot of people use him but at least cleopteryx is a legendary but this guy cyan right here um by the time that you will get this as a free login reward champion it's all your account would be more than one year old and this is just not a good enough epic for anyone, uh, for any player with that uh, amount of playtime in the game. So my wish for 2022 is the next champion after Scion has to be, e even if it's an, an epic, I don't care if it's a legendary or an epic champion, just make it a decent champion for us to use because this one is technically, you're giving us four star chicken fragments that we would get after two months. So that's not good enough. So we do want a better one. Or you could go back to the old reward and give us our sacred shards back. That would be a lot better as, as, as well. Definitely not something like this guy, Scion, because I'm, I know for sure that no one will be using this guy unless he gets some, some sort of buff. So yeah, so that's number one better daily login reward champion so of course we we have a, a lot of good ones right here of course we have visix which is great grush this this girl right here is useless still of still off of the drake so we have really good champions here but then when we get to uh 270 plus days we get trash champions like scion but yeah all right so that's number one. Number two is to reduce the time that we spend on the game. Now, I know that they want us to play this game a lot, to spend a lot of time playing this, this game, but it's getting out of hand, especially with the new Hydra clan boss. Now, I know a lot of players spend hours trying to one key, trying to get as much damage as they can, but it's, it's getting crazy. So we need more things to reduce the time that we spend playing this game. Uh, so I know that they introduced um, super raids for dungeons, but that's, I mean, that's a step towards the right direction, but we need more than that. So at least we have super raids, but I, re I really want to see more uh, so somewhere we're in. We can auto farm faction wars, maybe doom, doom tower anything to reduce the time that we need to, to play this game every sing, single day uh, for those, you know, the daily tokens, the daily keys that, that we have, make sure that we use them, but don't have to spend six, seven, eight hours just grinding in this game. So that's number two, reduce the time that we spend on this game. Number three is faster artifact upgrades. So I know that a lot of players use third-party tools to upgrade faster, but that should not be the case. The game should help us upgrade artifacts a lot faster so that we don't have to rely on these third-party tools to upgrade because that just makes the game look bad. So if 
And that's just a very simple fix. Help us upgrade these items faster. And that's one small thing, but it means a lot to the player. So that's number three. Number four is by this time, I know that a lot of players already have maxed out great halls. Um, we're getting more and more players that are playing more than two years in this game. And if you've been playing this game consistently for two years, then you've already probably maxed out your great hall. So we need some a something to to spend our arena medals on maybe it's some sort of bazaar i know we have the tag team arena bazaar so maybe it's time to have a classic arena bazaar or maybe just combine do those two uh both the classic and the tag team arena bazaar in into one so that we can have some way to make use of these tokens or, or these medals right here so maybe we can uh uh, get some energy, get some epic books, anything so that these tokens are not just sitting here uh, being all useless. So that's number four. Number five is marketplace. Yeah, I, I know not a lot of people uh, notice the market, but it's pretty much the same when the game started. Of course, we buy our mystery shards here. That's pretty much all there is to it. I know we can get ancient shards once a month. You know, they, uh, they re release ancient shards a few times in, in a month. But maybe we can buy some epic books. Maybe we can purchase some, uh, what else? Chickens. So, so yeah, we just need more use for the marketplace. Because while, of course, they've upgraded the sparring pit, uh, we've also, we're expecting some upgrades to, to the tavern, but next we would want to see some upgrades to the marketplace. So yeah, so those are the five things that I want to see uh, that Plarium do for Raid in 2022 because that will keep the players happy. And of course, that would bring new players in and make them happy as well so that we can continue to keep on playing Raid uh, for 2022 and hopefully until 2023 and beyond. So yeah, that is it. Those are the five things that I want to do, uh, that I want Raid and Plarium to do in 2022. I hope that happens. I think it's possible. It's quite doable. It's not some something crazy that we're all hoping for. And yeah, that's just... Uh, I hope this gets to Plarium and I hope we get these uh, wishes granted. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you guys. Merry Christmas again. Happy New Year. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you find this useful. And I'll see you guys in my next video.